What is up, baseball fans? Chris Jardine here, a.k.a. Snaggle J, community and content developer for Out of the Park Baseball, back with a brand new episode of our flagship program this week in Perfect Team. It is episode number 67, April 9th, 2020. We have all kinds of new goodies to look at tonight. We've got brand new collection missions that we'll be revealing the rewards tonight. Again, similar format to two weeks ago, folks. The collections do not go live until tomorrow at 10 a.m. We're going to look at the rewards tonight. None of the requirements to complete them. No, I mean, we'll have the mission titles. They might give it a little bit away. But we're going to take a look at the eight new collection mission rewards that make up Eras Part 2. And we have six brand new Elite Spotlight Series cards that are available in packs right now. They are all peak pre-1920s players and chat. They are absolutely amazing. Like, at, like, out of this world. Out of this world. Amazing. It's crazy. Uh, housekeeping notes. Uh, somebody hit ass. They catch ass in the Discord. We are going to have a few pack-based missions if all goes well. Rich is working on some pack-based missions. I think he's got six or eight of them. Uh, we're, so we're going to start rolling out some pack-based missions as well. Also, um, also, we are... Uh, still working on getting the cards updated, um, for the tournament, uh, file. It's a hot, long weekend for pretty much the entirety of the dev team. So we're hoping by Tuesday or Wednesday to have that implemented, have that in the game and have, uh, have our, um, special edition exclusive tournament rewards rolling out. Uh, there's a hundred and 21 of them i think and the only way you'll be able to get them is through tournaments uh so that's kind of cool uh we're working on it i was i spent some time working on it today uh we got a lot of stuff going on in chat a lot of stuff i can't talk about uh a lot of things i can't talk about uh but we're very busy we got a lot of irons in the fire chat uh a lot of cool stuff going on, both here on TWIPT, other outside sources. Not sure if you guys have been following the baseball reference uh, simulations. Those are pretty cool. They're, they're doing a day-by-day -day sim. It's kind of neat. Um, I definitely suggest you check that out. Uh, oh, oh, I always get secrets. Uh, I said it last week. I will say it again. Uh... This week's content is really good. Most weeks of the content for PT21 is really good. I think if you were like stacking, like you have like PT19 is like down here. And then like, like 20 is here. And then like 21 is like up here. But like if, if 21 content is regularly like a 10, next week is like a 37. That was a bad shot hit there. Uh, Nick, I didn't see that. Uh, but yeah, next week, next week is a huge, huge set. And the week after that is huge too. The rest of the month, next week is redacted. Uh, two weeks from now, so on the 23rd, we'll have Elite Spotlight Series number three and Eras Collection Missions number three. And then on the 30th, we have uh, the Puerto Rico Series, which uh, uh, would have been the Puerto Rico Series. Probably not going to be. But we're going to do the Puerto Rico Series content anyway. And then we'll be into May. And oh, baby, wait till I show you guys what's on the May calendar. But. That's next week. Let's focus on tonight. Man, I hope this is in the right spot. Perfect. It is. All right. So as I said, chat, we have eight 
brand new collection missions that will be dropping tomorrow. Tomorrow. I feel like I'm going to have to say this a bunch of times. Um, that's right. It's redacted. I mean, yeah, you're not going to get me. to tell. I, I'm too excited about it to spill the beans. Eight brand new collection missions that are going to be dropping tomorrow. We're going to take a look at uh, the collection rewards. They're pretty good. There's some good ones. If they drop tomorrow, will they break? Possibly. So let's take a look at the eight brand new collection mission rewards you'll be able to collect more. First up, we have 1956 Harvey Quinn, who will be the mission reward for Harvey's Wall Bangers. And a very, very solid silver card here to start it off. 80 contacts, 74 gap power, 50 power. 51 I and 87 avoid case keen. I'm listen, listen, I'll accept that one, but there's a U in there. Yeah, Coon, Kuane, Kuane. Why, why did if it's pronounced keen, why is there a U? You, you guys understand why I can't say these words because there's letters like there's literally it's a U, it's right there, it's in the name. I'm just saying. I'm not checking baseball reference. I'll trust the 40 of you that are yelling. I always thought it was QN. Yeah, so did I. But, hey, I'll accept it. Anyway. Anyway. Pretty solid card. Good defensive ratings as well at short. Probably transition pretty well uh, over to second base as well if you prefer a little higher. Uh, a little higher defense at short. You're going to have 71 range, 84 error, 66 arm, 66 turn double play. Um, so you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to, like I said, a lot of people are probably going to prefer to play them at second, uh, at second base. So there you go. It's, it's a pretty solid card. Again, if, if you're, if you're trying to fit uh, a good contact, a high avoid case in a tournament roster, um, uh yeah, it's it's it, it's a pretty solid card. Again, checks in at an eighty. I like it. I like it. I'm a big fan. That's a great question. We could just wrap it up right now. I I feel like uh, if people are in a hurry, we'll just uh we'll just we'll just we'll just wrap it up. We'll just wrap it up. Although Rich is gonna be here in fifty minutes, so maybe I'll keep you guys long enough for Rich to keep uh, stick around. Uh, Harvey's the first one. You haven't missed anyone, Southern Star. We're, uh, we're just hanging out. What hat am I wearing? Uh, blue, uh, Jays. Jays. New cards and packs already? Yep. All right, next up we have... 1973 Raleigh Fingers, who will be the mission reward for West Coast Three Peat. 79 stuff, 81 movement, 77 control, fastball, slider, forkball. Very solid, low gold closer here. Uh, blue screen makes it look like you got wicked knuckled. I know, guys, the, my lighting is so bad. I mess around with it every week and it just doesn't get any better. I need to just, like, get. See, I'm trying to get the bubbly sponsorship to go through, which is never going to happen, so that I can buy real lights. But anyway, we get it. You know what? You know what? It works. What we have works. Um, so there you have it. Again, a low gold Raleigh Fingers. A very solid card. Very well balanced. 79, 81, 77. Uh, <clears throat> very, very solid. Again, the A's, 1972, 1973, 1974, back to back to back World Series champions. You can probably imagine a mission called West Coast Three Pete may or may not be centered around those three World Series championship teams. I think you can maybe read between the lines on that one, chat. What? No, I'm not using X Split. You guys don't realize I'm old. 
I've used OBS for four years. I don't want to change. I'm old. All my stuff is in OBS already. See, that's my problem. Then I got change. Can't do it, chat. I tried XSplit for a day. I'm, I'm, it's like the whole, it's like, like I've used Android for however many years. I couldn't go to an iPhone at this point. I'm literally embedded in the Google Cloud. I can't move. I don't want to relearn it. I'm old. Does it work with OBS? I'll check it out. I have this fancy Elgato green screen here, chat. I just need, it's just my lighting is not very good. That's all it is. Anyway, next up, we have 1970 Frank Robinson, who will be the mission reward for expanding with the times. 81 contact, 69 gap power, 90 power overall with 105 against lefties. 63 I, 62 avoid case. Not a whole lot of speed. Not a whole lot of buns. But pretty solid ratings in right field. The range is not so great. Again, hampered by the fact that he, he's very slow. But 85 air, 68 arm, acceptable enough corner outfielder for sure. But again, an, a lefty killer, a very good hitting card. Again, will qualify for gold tournaments. I know you guys are all over the gold tournaments. I mean, you guys are all over all the tournaments looking at the registration rates. But I always see the guys are like, man, I can't wait to put that team on on my uh on my gold tournament roster so there you go yeah o's logo fire too <laughs> use a walker i don't think he used a walker to get around the bases but he just wasn't very fast he didn't run very fast there you go 88 frank robinson will be the reward for expanding with the times very very solid looking frank robinson there next up chat now listen here's the thing i love when a plan comes together because some dudes and i can't remember who it was it might have been buck cheeks i don't know if buck is buck here is buck here buck cheeks are you in the chat show yourself expose yourself for being in the chat i know you're here i just assume hold on now i think it was buck it, it may have been buck but somebody in the discord today posted that they only figured out the Simpsons mission from last year. If for those of you who didn't play Perfect Team 20, we had a Simpsons mission based around the softball team. And um, I, I think it might have been Buck who only figured out like last week what it actually was. Maybe it was Buck. Maybe it wasn't Buck. It might have been Catch. But, but some, he, he just, just now is figuring out that webcam. Hello. It'll do its thing. It'll come back to life. Oh, I just don't think he looked at it. I love Buck. Buck's great. But he only figured it out just recently. Now listen, what are you doing, webcam? Is it because it's dirty? Anyway, the reason why I thought it was funny that he only brought it up today was because everybody's favorite mission from Perfect Team 20 is back in Perfect Team 21. Mordecai Three Finger Brown is the reward for the nuclear-powered mission in Perfect Team 21. Checking in at an 89 gold, 78, 75 stuff, 72 movement, 85 control, fastball, curveball, changeup, 90 stamina, 80. 84 power chat. 84 power chat. 80, 84 power on, on the Mordecai Brown. So there you go. Listen, chat. We had we had to keep some some of the missions for Perfect Team 20 were so good. How do you not keep the nuclear powered mission in every perfect team for the rest of time? Like it was literally one of the funnest missions that we did in uh perfect team 20. We do the reward a little different this time with the Mordecai Brown. 
Again, high gold, gold tournament card. Um, it was a lot of fun. So, I mean, we really just, like, you can expect, as long as I am co- community, co- as long as I am the content and community developer, community and content developer, as long as I'm doing this job, nuclear power will be a mission in every perfect team going forward. I'm just saying. Next up, let's move into the diamond territory with 1982 Steve Rogers, who will be the mission reward for Year of the Snag. I have no idea what that means. I don't know why there are missions that are named Snag, but we'll figure it out. 75 stuff, 85 movement, 81 control, fastball, sinker, curveball, slider, changeup, 98 stamina, 91, 91 sacrifice bunt. Can I get some exclamation point bunt in the chat? Uh, Chris is 38 confirmed. Uh, yes, I can. I can confirm that I am 38 years old. I didn't think that was uncommon knowledge. I'm old, chat. I'm old as dirt. <clears throat> I'm literally less than two years away from the big 4-0. 61i also. Gotta love that, chat. What a pretty solid card. Uh, next up, which one are we on now? Oh, now I'm lost. I'm pretty sure the next one. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> Another one I'm really excited for is 1973 Nolan Ryan, who will be the mission reward for Nolan's No-Nos. 134 stuff, 77 movement, 47 control. Fastball, curveball, circle chain. Again, I know what you more veteran perfect team players are thinking. You're looking at the stuff. You're looking at the three pitches, but especially the fastball, curveball, and you're thinking reliever (laughs) Right, right, right out of the gate. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Two amazing, amazing pitches. 92 stamina. Again, Nolan's no-nos could mean a lot of things, chat. Could mean a lot of things. You guys can spend the next 13 hours speculating over what you think Nolan's no-nos might require. But what I can tell you is that the reward will be 1973, 95, Diamond, Nolan Ryan. We get two more to go. This next one I shared some of the attributes of in the Discord last night. I was putting these slides together. Oh, excuse me. I was putting these slides together and um, I had to share these hitting stats because I was like, dang. Uh, of all the guys that I shared on the promotional graphic, this guy was not one of them. But I'm like, that's a pretty good hitting card. And it's 1920 George Sisler, who will be the mission reward for Roaring 20s heroes 100 contact 95 gap power 119 power overall 91 avoid k's 84 speed 97 stealing 100 base strength so the guy can hit the guy can run he plays good first base pretty solid first base Eh, you know he he gets by Sistler gets by at first base I think you could stick him in stick him at first base maybe get away with it most people probably going to use him at DH Um, most people probably going to use him at DH I would say I would say. Good. Crazy. Crazy hit card. Pretty solid. Again, the the very... I like the... Again, obviously hits uh, the more power against lefty. Pretty balanced. 100 from both sides in contact. 12 more power against lefties. Pretty, pretty solid. And 
in chat. We have one more. A lot of people had a pretty good idea of who it was. Some people even... um, Some people guessed it incorrectly and then decided to change their mind. (laughs) Jerry! Sorry, chat. Uh, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, our headliner of the round two of the collection missions is 100 perfect Luke Appling who will be the mission reward for softball smash 98 contact 79 gap power 60 power 99 i 85 avoid k's 104 defense at shortstop 102 range 68 air 102 arm 102 turn double play an absolutely filthy filthy carrot at shortstop tremendous contact tremendous eye tremendous avoid case so you're gonna have a huge huge on base percentage i don't even remember who it was that jerry thought it was not to not to throw jerry under the bus but he he messes me and he was like i think it's this guy Hundred percent, like I'll bet, and he was wrong. And then he changed it. He's like, Ah, no, I think it's Apple. He changed it like twelve hours later, and I'm just sitting there on my side, like giggling. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I know who it was. Ah, it's always a good time. I always love. I love the speculation. That's why I'm enjoying the fact. Oh yes, that's right. You thought it was Eddie. That's right. You thought it was Eddie. Um, that's why I'm glad we can do a little more promotional stuff this year with uh, being a little more. Oh, oh, hang on, chat. We're dropping frames. Hang on. Sorry, chat. It looks like uh, OBS is uh, is is all over the place. We were having issues last night, too. So if you're experiencing some uh, stream quality issues, I do apologize. I know Twitch has been having issues uh, the last few nights uh, with the Valorant um, streams and uh, driving all kinds of extra traffic. So I know they're having some trouble. Looks like it's flattened out a little bit. So we'll keep on moving. But there you have it, folks. Eight brand new collection missions that, again... We'll be in game tomorrow. We'll tweet it out. There'll be an in game news. The in game news will show up. They're going to be live around 10 a.m. Eastern. Again, it's Good Friday, so please be a little bit patient if they're not in there right at 10 a.m. We all have families. We're all working through the holidays to try to bring you guys cool content. So if they're not in there right at the stroke of 10 a.m. Eastern, please don't flood my DMs and be like, where's my missions? Well, they're going to be in there around. 10 a.m. Eastern time. It's a holiday tomorrow, so the schedule may vary just a little tiny bit, right? So please have a little bit of patience. Like I said, we'll tweet it out. It'll be in the Discord. Um, there'll be an in-game news pop up as well, so you'll know uh, you'll know when they're in there for sure. Um, hundred hundred percent. So there you have it. Eight brand new collection missions coming to the game tomorrow. Now, chat, chat. Now we get to move to the even funner stuff. Oh, Appling was the collection. Oh, chat. Uh, it's okay. I won't be checking my Discord tomorrow. Anyway, it's a holiday for me, too. Uh, I'm going to be on Do Not Disturb all weekend. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, chat. These. This is the second set of Elite Spotlight Series cards. If you missed the first one, let me explain. These are six peak cards the last four series tonight and the next three are two gold two diamond and two perfect so there's going to be a little bit of structure to them so you know what to expect these ones are pre 1920s players and they are absolutely ab 
absolutely insane. No, I've been saying chat always. <laughs> but I'm going to st- I am now going to start referring to chat as Chad. Anytime I say Chad, you can assume I'm talking about you, Chad. Pre-1920s, all peaks, and they're all in packs right now. You can pull these cards in packs now. If you bought packs yesterday, if you won a tournament this morning, haven't opened the pack yet, no problem. You got a chance to pull one of these six cards, and these cards are absolutely foolish. Let's start it off with Clyde the Glide. Milan, 77 contact, 56 gap power, 58 power, 66 eye, 57 avoid case, 93 speed, 98 stealing, 97 base running, 107 error in the outfield, 77 range. He can play left. He can play center. He probably can play right too, I would imagine. But Clyde the Glide, chat peak, Clyde the Glide in packs now. Obviously, a little bit better hitter against righties. Now, here's the thing, chat. I'll be the first person to admit. I don't do sometimes. Sometimes I lose track of what positions I put into a content set. So I got putting this set together last night, and I'm like, man, remember last week when I when we put the Gary Maddox in, and I said Fabtron had messaged me and had told me, hey, I need a defensive center fielder. Well, listen, if you didn't get the Gary Maddox fab, I got you covered tonight. <laughs> tonight. Big time. Clyde the Glide is in the game. Next up, our other gold elite spotlight series pre-1920s is peak Ned Hanlon. 61 contact, 55 gap power, 76 power, 74 I, 82 avoid Ks. Right hand heavy on the splits, 83 speed, 92 stealing. Again, similar defense to Clyde the Glide. Basically, Clyde the Glide, a little more power, a little less speed. That's literally what you're getting with the difference between 86 Clyde Milan and 86 Ned Hanlon. Hanlon, a little more power, a little less speed. What team was Ned on? I don't know. Baseball reference is your friend. BB ref is your friend. I don't know. I don't know right off the top of my head. <laughs> Cubs. I'm going to guess Cubs. No, if it was Cubs, he'd have a logo. So probably one of those weird defunct teams, like the Spiders. Like, it's like the Spider. It could be on the Spiders. I don't know. Baseball reference is your friend. When it comes to that, there's no logo on the card. That's right. We there are some cards we cannot put logos on. There, we, it's not wide open season chat. There are a lot of cards for the pre 1920s that have no logos. I don't know if people have not noticed that before, but there are a lot of pre 1920s cards that we do not have uh, logos on. Yeah, Detroit Wolverines. That would be why. It's an unaffiliated. So. Who knows who owns the, the problem with that is we a lot of the older, older stuff is stuff that's not tied to current MLB teams. We don't even know who owns the copyright for half of them, right? So uh, we try to avoid that stuff. Again, a lot of the pre-1920 stuff has no logo on it. You'll see more than you think. Like if I showed you the whole Rolodex of 1920s and before, you'll see there's there's a lot of them that don't have Any silver card this week? Ah, it's just golden higher. We'll be back on the usual content set. Uh, content sets next week will be the every other week content sets is going to have your full range of iron, bronze, uh, silver, gold, diamond. If there were no copyrights. We'd find the logo somewhere. Probably, maybe. There you have it. Clyde the Glide, Ned Hanlon. Anyway, chat, there's no logo on it. I'm not an expert. I'm not the logo department. I'm just telling you, as you can see up there, you guys see that card? There's no logo on it. If you pull it in a pack tonight, it's going to look just like that. But he played for the Detroit Wolverines. There you go. Ned Flanders. Exactly. 
Exactly. Next up, chat, let's move into the diamond category and another center fielder, sliding Billy Hamilton. 91 contact, 65 gap power, 78 power, 97 I, 77 avoid Ks. Again, 96 speed. Again, great defense in center field. Crazy. Another very, again, same thing as the other two, except obviously the big difference between Milan Hanlon and Billy Hamilton. Billy Hamilton hits exponentially better. Exponentially better than the other two. Snangle trying to hide the fact. Yes, exactly. Ned Hanlon, current Blue Jay. Current Blue Jay. Speed is a little low. We'll get that bumped to 187. The, th the problem is he's sliding Billy Hamilton, so we get to dock him three points because he slides all the time, slows him down. You guys know how that works, right? That's just how it is. That's just how it is. He, he, he has to be docked three points because he slides. I'm not the one who told him to slide. So there you go. Now, let's change it up a little bit, chat. Let's change it up a little bit. First of all, let's get the giveaway going to get you guys typing something else in the chat. Exclamation point ticket. Three prizes of 10,000 perfect points apiece. We'll draw them at the end of the stream. Remember, you got to be here to win. Also, BT dubs. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to. But if you don't hear your name, how are you ever going to get me your username? Now let's change it up a little bit, chat. Let's we we've gone center fielder, center fielder, center fielder. That's boring. That's no fun. We want to see something else. We want to see some pitching. Maybe we want to see some good pitching. Maybe we want to see an 18th century social media icon. What? Who? Is it 19th century, 18th century? I don't remember how that works, chat. I'm Canadian. We haven't been around. But, again, a cult baseball hero. Old Haas Riley. How, how, do, you, how do you have pre-1920s elite spotlight without peak Old Haas Radburn, chat? He deserves three cards for his 1884 season alone. 93 stuff, 88 movement, 86 control, fastball, sinker, changeup, screwball, knuckle curve. 93 stamina, 84 defensive rating. That's a 52 defensive rating in right field with 46 contact and 36 eye. It can hit a little bit. It can hit a little bit too, chat. You can hit a little bit. Yeah, he destroys righties. Absolutely destroys right again. Chat exclamation point ticket. It's way up there. I can't reach that far, but it's up there. Old Haas Rabbit. How do you have a pre 1920s set and not include Old Haas Rabbit? I don't know. That's why I'm in charge. Made the call. Old Haas Rabbit is here. He's in packs. You can get him now. He's awesome. Not even the best social media pre-1920 pitcher. He definitely is. He definitely is not close. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Old Haas's social media game has been slipping a little bit the last couple of years. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. His social media game has been slipping a little bit. I'll agree. I'll agree. His social media game, you know, it's not as strong as it once was, but... You know, maybe he's maybe he's having a having a time. You know, maybe he's doing something right. Open thirty packs, didn't get any. Sorry, man. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have two, 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 two cards left. They are both perfect. They are both. 
in almost every single way. One of which people were kind of on to. One of which people were kind of like, okay, I'm pretty sure it's this. I saw a lot of I saw a lot of relatively good guesses. Remember, guys, you can only enter the ticket giveaway once. Once. One time. If you entered it once, you're in. If you typed exclamation point ticket spelled correctly, you're in. There is currently 145 people in the draw. Holy sweet baby Moses. You guys are Saturday. I love it. Get in the get in the draw. Exclamation point ticket in the chat if you haven't already. So I've seen a lot of good guesses for one. I didn't see a single guess for the other one. Not a single not a single guess for the other one so this will be fun this will be this will be good not a single still not a single guess it's not ty cop it's not get out of here with ty cop not cop let's go first up the unknown peak Ed Delahanty. Nobody saw Ed Delahanty come and chat. Completely off the radar. 102 contact, 121 gap power, 97 power, 82 I, 57 avoid Ks. Pretty even splits both sides. Two chat only three points lower against righties on all uh, contact gap power and power and I. So very, very similar. You don't need to platoon them. 64 speed. So run a little bit too. Plays a great left field. Good old Ed Delahanty chat. Again, I love, I love, I love when we put these graphics out on Tuesday and then I see people in the Discord and people on Twitter like, oh, I think it's this guy. Oh, I think it's that guy. And I just sit there smiling and like reacting to things with GIFs. And I'm like, man, nobody said Ed Delahanty that I saw. Nobody saw it. So again, I love when it's like, oh man, never thought of him. But it's like, hey, it's a great guy. It's a great card. Does a lot of things well. Five tool player, great defense, great arm, good speed, good contact, good power. Can take a walk, play first base, second base, left field, center field, right field. He can do it all, chat. He can do everything. He can do everything, chat. Everything at all. Everything and anything. And last but not least, chat, I had to save this one for the end because I know a lot of people are going to be super duper ultra pumped and hyped. Again, exclamation point ticket if you're not in the draw. You have like two minutes to get in. Then we're going to draw it and we're going to give it away for sure. Support small streamers. I agree. I agree. Can you cook a mean quesadilla? I hope so. I hope so. Announce 100 David Eckstein. I like having a job. And I like to think that... I like to think... Alex is definitely allowed in the draw. Listen, have you seen the standings for Alex this week? Dude's like 18 and 70. He could use the points more than anybody. Dude's getting rolled out there. Like, it's rough in the streets that Alex is playing in, son. He's getting killed. He needs the points. He's, chat, chat, he's losing to me. He's losing to the Snaggletown Schooners. That's like, Bottom of the barrel material. I know, I'm just messing with him too. I'm just messing with him too. Anyway, about the David Eckstein thing, I like to think I have a little bit of credibility with the OTP community. So obviously it's not 100 David Eckstein. If you would have said 100 Manny Lee, might have got on board. But it's none of those. It's Eddie Collins. 99 contact, 80 gap power, 79 power, 93 I, 58 avoid case, 89 speed, 101 stealing, 99 base running, 98 
sacrifice bunt. One thirteen defense at second base. I'll say a little louder for those in the back. One thirteen defense at second base. I say it quieter because I know you can all hear me pretty good, and I don't want to blow someone's eardrums out who might be using their their headphones. And Ed and Eddie with Ed Plank on the side. Ed Plank has no place on my team. 91 range, 100 air, 89 infield arm, 92 turn double play. Lots to like about this card chat. Lots to like Eddie Collins. A lot of people super hyped, super duper. Again, look at the way he kills righties. People saying definitely a platoon. You guys are crazy. Can't bunt. He can't bunt for hits. Who bunted for hits? In the early 1900s. You could probably make a full Ed team now, right? Delahanty, Collins. There's probably an Ed Roush in there somewhere. Um, there's probably an Ed Roush in there. Uh, Ed Sprague. There's probably an Ed Sprague. Uh, uh, Ed Roush is pretty good. Probably the, I gotta have to look that up now, Chad. I'm gonna open the card database and see how many Eds there are. So there you have it, folks. The Elite Spotlight Series number two. They're all in packs. They're available now. Clyde the Glide Milan, Ned Hanlon, Old Haas Radburn, Sliding Billy Hamilton, Ed Delahanty, and Eddie Collins. Chat, you have 30 seconds to get. No, Edgar, Edgar doesn't count. Edgar doesn't count. Edgar's a strike. It's got to be Ed, Ed, Eddie. Edward, Edgar doesn't count, I don't think. I'm, I'm, I'm vetoing Edgar. Guys, exclamation point ticket. You got 20 seconds. Exclamation point ticket. Right now, we're giving away three prizes of 10,000 purple points apiece. As soon as I click this button, you have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. The giveaway is closed. The giveaway is closed. Laird or Bird. Bird. I don't know why. I see the L and then the three. I think L A. Anyway, Bird. Next week's is way better. Maybe not in terms of like, you know, like fifteen perfects. But, like, it's just better. It's better in every way. All right, the giveaway is closed, chat. Again, if you win the giveaway, please either whisper me right here on Twitch at the OTP Developments channel, DM me in the Discord. It's Chris, uh, community and content developer. It's in the upper right corner. I'm online. I'm there. I need your username in the right capitalization, the proper case. If the first letter is capitalized and you log in, I need it capitalized when you send it to me. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And send me your team name so that because when I put it in the little thing, the team name comes up so I know I got the right username. Got it? Good. Congratulations to Mr. Bucket Run You 99 and GT Sundown. Congratulations, Mr. Bucket Run You 99 and GT Sundown. You guys have all won. 10,000 perfect points a piece. Again, you can whisper right here on Twitch if that's easier. If you're in the Discord, send it to me in the Discord. I'll get you those points as soon as the stream is over and I get everything shut down. I'll get them to you. I'll send you a little message back saying that you got them. Guys, programming note, Rich is going to be here in 15 minutes if you guys want to go grab a drink, take your dog out to pee, grab a snack, popcorn, chips, whatever your isolation uh, needs and wants currently are. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that follow button up at the top of the screen. This week in Perfect Team is live every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We've got something new every freaking Thursday for like the next 11 months. You guys are going to get sick of seeing my face, sick of seeing, hearing my overhyped voice. Also, if you like to play tournaments, Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we have the This Week in Perfect Team Weekly Showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This week we're going up to 128 teams. Chat. We broadcast the game live on Twitch. Right here, Twitch side to be slash OTP developments. Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. This week's tournament already full. You got to be on the ball if you want to get in on next week. It's a lot of fun. This week's a silver tournament. My roster is absolutely garbo. Discord.gg slash OOTP. News on OTP Go, that is not my department. Uh, you can check the forums for the latest. I know Marcus put a little blurb on there uh, earlier this week. The guys are working on it every day. But we don't have anything in terms of a release date or anything uh, just yet. Oh, Christian Pache? What? Yikes. Oh, if you're in the Discord already, I'm in the uh, very top right. Chris, community and content dev. Guys, thank you guys so much for coming by. Guys, make sure you guys follow us everywhere on the internet. YouTube.com slash OTP Developments, where you can catch Perfect Team tutorials. If you're new to Perfect Team, we've got eight great tutorial videos over there to get you started, get you in, get you to learn the different um, the different things you can do, tournaments, playing the auctions. We've got some more intermediate level tutorial videos coming, hopefully tomorrow, but definitely uh, by the time Monday comes around, we're going to have those tutorial videos up there as well. Um, what else? Hey, you want to join the conversation, join the Discord, discord.gg slash OTP, forums at otpdevelopments.com, two great bursting communities full of wonderful hype. We're almost at 5,500 members in the Discord, which is absolutely amazing. Brett sucks. Man. Poor Brett. Not sure what Brett did, but... I don't know what to tell you. Guys, if you're on Facebook, facebook.com slash OTV baseball. If you're on Twitter, twitter.com slash OTV baseball and twitter.com slash OTV perfect team. Guys, if you're on Instagram, guys, we're on Instagram now. Instagram.com OTV perfect team out of the park baseball. We have two Instagrams, one that I run, obviously the perfect team one. Obviously, it's the better one. What are you going to do? Guys. This is another great episode. Thank you guys so much for coming by. You guys have no idea in these crazy isolation times. I know I said this. Um, have you ever told us a story of how you came up with it? I didn't come up with it. I was given the name. And no, I've never told the story. And not tonight. Someday, maybe I will. But it's, it, it's you know, heated game of Uno. Jeez, that's rough. It happens to me. Uh, Uno be like that sometimes. Guys, I know it's a different world we're living in right now, and I appreciate all you guys take the time out of your day to come by the stream, whether you're in EU, whether you're just waking up over on the far side of the world, whether you're all across the United States, Canada, you're in South America, wherever you are, wherever you're watching from. I appreciate you guys taking an hour out of your day and supporting Out of the Park Baseball, supporting Perfect Team, supporting our stream, supporting our content. We couldn't do this without you guys. And I think, you know, for me, as someone who I'm a very social person, I like being out. Um, I like seeing my coworkers, you know, and, and things of that nature. Uh, this has been tough for me. I'm not going to lie. I, I, if, if you follow my personal Twitter, uh, I've, I've said several times I've struggled with this. And, um, but you know what? I like being able to, Come on here on Mondays and Thursdays and hit the button. And interact with you guys. I love doing this, guys. Guys, listen. I, I don't. I don't often come on the stream, and and toot my own horn. And you know, it's a team effort here. Uh, you know, perfect team is a team effort, right from Marcus all the way down. But like, for me to come out and reveal these cards to you guys and, and watch the chat, which is literally just right there on my screen. I watch it the whole time. And uh, Dishnet, I sold them for four seventy uh, on Tuesday, so I, I I I made a huge amount of money this week on Rich Beyond My Wildest Dreams. Um, but like for me to come on and, and reveal these cards and to see to see the hype and the reactions that you guys get, and and you know, and, and, and even the negative stuff, I love doing this. You guys have no idea how hard I work 
to to make this stuff happen, how hard the team works, how hard Daniel works on the graphics. So we appreciate you guys. You guys don't ever have to thank me for doing this. I see a few people in the chat doing that. You don't ever, ever have to thank me for doing these streams. It's my pleasure. I love doing them. And I look forward to seeing you guys next Thursday night for, listen, a not going to lie chat. Do not miss next Thursday night. Set a reminder on your phone. Be here. It's going to be absolutely freaking amazing. Until next time, folks, I have been Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, community and content developer for Out of the Park Baseball. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences.